I seek to document reality, what's going on, what the problem is, so that people can talk about it. I seek to create images that when you are having your coffee at your favorite restaurant, you'll get to see this shocking image and brings you back to reality. So I seek to shock with my work. You live in a city full of aid agencies. How do you view their work? Is it useful? Uh, their work is useful to an extent uh, because they supplement what the government does and they access areas that the government is not existent. But I think we have come to a level where you are over donor reliant, especially in marginalized communities, the far flung areas where there's no road network, where there's no government, so to speak. And that means that the citizens don't know any other person who is going to help them apart from aid agencies or the churches or church agencies. And so, on the flip side is that the people cannot hold the government accountable as long as they have water that was drilled by an agency or as long as when there's famine the agency is going to come and provide food. I think generally, as in my thinking is actually we shouldn't have aid. Is it losing its relevance then in the 21st century in Africa, would you say? Uh, this continent, we are mature. Uh, most African countries are over 50 years old, Kenya is 50 this year, and so it's enough. You can't feed a 50 year old child. It's wrong actually, it's even insulting. That means if people die because there's no food, it should be the responsibility of the government to provide the food or provide uh, whatever is needed for that particular situation. So if there's a disaster, I think we should be able to sort ourselves. Uh, the continent is not a poor continent. Uh, we have all natural and mineral resources in this continent. So I don't think we should be relying on aid or donors. But you yourself, as part of your work, produce photographs which do go all around the world and do attract attention and probably do attract aid. Uh, <laughs> I agree. And my images are not about actually attracting aid or attraction. It's about documenting reality. So I'm not saying that we live in denial. If there's a problem, let's document and show the world. That's a good thing. But at the same time, let's tell our own government to deal with the problem. As long as we have the donors coming to help in the country, when there's a problem in the country, that means we'll never have homegrown solutions. Because when you come, it's a foreign solution. They come and say, do this, do that. And that's a short-term uh, problem solving. We need long-term eradication of poverty, hunger, preventable disease. And in countries where we have so much money and our leaders earn ridiculous amounts of money, then we should be able to actually solve our own problems. So the solutions lies within. You're quite critical of aid agencies. So I'm just wondering, looking to the future, whether you see any space for humanitarian workers and people like yourself to work together. Uh, the population of the continent is actually about 75% is uh, under 35 the continent is becoming younger and younger and younger and younger. Uh, we have a new mentality, we have a mi mind shift. Uh, we have no colonial hangovers because we are not colonized and most likely our parents are not born under the colonial government, so we are free. And so we are ready to work in mutual respect. Uh, we are ready to come up with those solutions together, not someone sitting somewhere in Washington or London or Paris sending us a document saying that this is what you should be doing at any given time. Have you ever yourself been the beneficiary of an aid agency? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, I have. I have. I don't think it's charity. They don't just give because they want to give. They give because they want something from the continent. They give because they want to look good. They give because if maybe they have this uh, colonial guilt of what they did in this continent. So I have to understand that. And at the same time, if it's going to advance the good of my continent, then I'm going to take the money. But there must be mutual respect. I'm a father of three kids, and my kids will go to school in this country, and they're going to work in this country, because we need to build our own continent.